Hi, um, welcome back to uh, the building of the Dave Gendry milling machine. <coughs> in, this, uh, in this episode we'll look at um, building the headstand. The headstand is a two-piece two split mould pattern. Um, reasonably um, reasonably straightforward but there are a number of uh, pieces that um, that need to be put together and uh, put together reasonably accurate well the more accurate you are the more accurate the casting <coughs> and the uh, the less filing and adjustment required to make it all perpendicular square 90 degrees all those um, technical as aspects of how this has to interact with the base and the base is now uh, filed and scraped even and level and now this has to be made so that it fits on the base square not a bad um, not a bad exercise in timber work to uh, locating nails Excuse me, two locating nails here, and um, that's actually the nails are in the wrong piece. But, um, they've stuck themselves in there somehow, but that's the, the drag piece, and then that's the cope piece. Alright, let's have a look at the actual casting itself. This was uh, this was a successful casting. Didn't have to uh, didn't have to do a lot to clean it up. Uh, cutting the um, well, I should say cutting the sprue off, um, and then just cleaning up the the minor dags. There are some imperfections in this casting. I'll uh, I'll, I'll admit to that, but. Um, I'm, ha I'm happy with it. And, it and it took a fair while to cast the um, I had a little bit of problems with the uh, the, uh, the molding sand um, when you go to turn turn them over uh, they wanted to break um, it took me three goes before I was successful in extracting the um, the pattern and being able to uh, successfully clean the imprint left in the mould, in the sand, and then ready to be poured. Uh, this is um, one and a half kilos of uh, aluminium, so there's a, fair, there's a fair bit of aluminium. There was uh, a little bit more than the bed. The bed was 1.2 uh, kilos. This is 1.5. Um, so, to this casting, after it's all cleaned up, I cleaned up some of the, uh, this is a little bit messy up the top here, I just cleaned that off, um, the tunnel here, there was a little bit of uh, fine uh, or thin um, aluminium in there, I, I just filed that out and there's a lot of filing to go on in, in these aluminium things, but uh, basically that's the casting as it came out of the mould, just quickly cleaned up. The first surface was here the base. I wanted this to be my, uh, my reference. So the base is important in that it, it, these ways, uh, faces here, have to be 90 degrees to the um, uh, to the bedways, and also not kicking over to the left or to the right, and um, and then of course you don't want the um, the casting to, to be on on an angle. So first order was to get a nice clean datum, and the the best way
Um, I filed. Ah, oh yes, I, I, I checked that the Waze surface here was about right, about 90 degrees to the plate. Remember, it's, it's still a rough casting. So I then presume this first surface here to be roughly about right. So with a lot of filing, hand scraping, I got this surface down to be very smooth. There are some problems here with the casting, but uh, nothing that's going to uh, stop me from using it. Once I was able to get that surface correct, my next surface or surfaces are these two ways. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, again, they have to be um, that sits on the bed. The metal ways will eventually screw to that with um, eight screws. So this face here has to be parallel with the bed and also not tipping backwards and forwards or being on a slight angle. So how did I achieve to get this, this face here square always all uh, points of the compass with the bed. All that I achieved by one using a screw jack. These are very expensive by the way so I wasn't going to pay the huge amount of money for a, uh, a proper screw jack so that's a coupling nut, a bolt and a nut to lock it in, in place. Uh, it was originally too too high, so I had to cut some of the uh, coupling nut off, the thickness of that nut actually, and that allowed me then to adjust the level of the ways so that it was parallel with the plate. Now to achieve that, I got the base right first with an engineer square and that's the thinnest feeler gauge I have which is uh, 1.5 thou or 0 0.038 millimeters I only know that because it's written on here and won't go there won't go there so I know that face is 90 degrees to that Next was to first work this surface down to get the rough casting off and, and to a condition where I could measure it. And by measure, I mean with a dial indicator. And with a lot of work and a lot of hand file, I, I was able to get this surface to run reasonably true and uh, I can't remember what it was but um, three whoops ran off constantly we've got about one and a half foul and that's about one and a half tooth here. So I still have a little bit a little bit more work to do on this. I want to buy myself a more accurate um, dial gauge. Uh, I'm not 100% happy with this this one it jumps around a bit but um, having said that I was able to get this surface fairly accurate. Now, um, 
the accuracy, of course, if it's a little bit out, you still have the bolt holes here that you can that you can adjust, and on the final assembly, you um, if you if required, preferably you wouldn't want to, but you could shim the um, shim these up off the bed. But for me, that will be a last resort. I'll, um, I will assemble it, recheck it once it's assembled, and if need be, I'll go back and work the base or work these ways. But at the present moment, there's about two thou. It's about two thou out. I've done so much hand scraping on this that. Um, I'm fed up with it for the moment, this, for this piece, and um, I think I'll go off and do some casting, and then come back to this and um, recheck it all. Down the bottom here, there was a bit of a casting problem. I um, had to file that out, and um, that's because the, um, the waves do go down to the bottom. It's, it is slightly slightly out but this is not an important surface this <clears throat> this here is just for the uh, for the bolts to bolt it to the way uh, to the bed so um, uh, I didn't worry too much about that uh, surface just got it roughly right but uh, anyhow we'll, um, we'll finish this video with this piece and um, we'll see you when I've created another masterpiece. Well, in my eyes, it's a masterpiece. Thanks for watching.